for today's video, we will answer a geometry challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given the squares and circle, the area of the big circle is 16 pi square centimeters. And the area of the small circle must be equal to 4 pi square centimeters. And the measure from this point of the square to this point must be equal to 6 centimeters. And from this point to this point, must be equal to 8 centimeters. Then our goal is to find the area of the square. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Now given this information, the area of the big circle 16 pi centimeters squared and the area of the small circle 4 pi square centimeters and this measures 8 centimeters and 6 centimeters the goal is to find the area of the square so the area of a circle we can find the area of a circle using this formula pi r squared and the 16 notice we can rewrite this as 4 squared and this 4 we can rewrite this as 2 squared so we can say initially the radius of the big circle must be equal to 4 centimeters and the radius of the small circle must be equal to 2 centimeters. Now we will use this information to find the value of x or the area of the square. Now to do that, let's have the centers of these two circles and let's draw the radius like this to the point of tangency because we know at that point we have 90 degrees. All right, next, this is also the important point in this question because this is the tip of the square. So let's connect the center of these two circles to this point like this. Now, let's call this angle be equal to theta. And this angle also must be equal to theta because these two right triangles are congruent. And also take note, these two right triangles are also congruent. So their angles must be the same thing. Now the question is what is their angle? Now the sum of these four angles must be adds up to 90 degrees because the square we have here 90 degrees. So 90 plus 90 is 180 degrees. If this is theta and this is theta, this angle measures 45 degrees minus theta. So if we have 45 degrees minus theta, we have 45 degrees minus theta, we have theta and theta. When we add those angles together, we have a total of 90 degrees. All right, now, another is we know also that the radius uh, of the big circle is 4 and the radius of the small circle is 2. Now, this is enough to find the area of the square. So, let's have the side of the square, which is equal to S. Now, if the side is equal to S, then the measure of this segment must be equal to S minus 8. And the measure of this segment must be equal to the total length of side S minus 6. And using those informations, we can now find the value of this area. So let's do that. We will use this identity. Tangent of X minus Y, wherein X and Y are the angles, must be equivalent to tangent of X minus tangent of Y all over 1 plus tangent of X multiplied by tangent of Y. We will use this 45 minus theta. So, tangent 45 minus theta must be equal to tangent 45 minus tangent theta all over 1 plus tangent 45 multiplied by tangent of theta. Now, why we do that? Why we use tangent 45 minus theta? Because tangent 45 is simply equal to just 1. So, we can simplify the right-hand side as 1 minus tangent theta over 1 plus tangent theta. Alright. Now, the next question is what is the value of tangent? Theta. So here comes the small right triangle. So this right triangle. So tangent theta must be equal to the opposite side over the adjacent, which is 2 over s minus 8. So we can replace tangent theta with 2 over s minus 8. Now let's simplify first the numerator. So we have s minus 8 minus 2. And the denominator, we can rewrite this as 8 s minus 8 plus 2 all over s minus 8. Now negative 8 minus 2, this is just negative 10. 
and negative 8 plus 2, this is just negative 6. And if we divide this, the numerator to the denominator, this is just s minus 10 over s minus 8 multiplied by the reciprocal of the denominator, so s minus 8 over s minus 6. s minus, minus 8 cancel out, so this will give us s minus 10 over s minus 6. Now, what is the value of tangent 45 minus theta? We will use now this big right triangle. So, tangent of 45 minus theta is just the opposite side 4 over the adjacent s minus 6. So we can replace this with 4 over s minus 6. Now, s is technically not equal to 6 because that is too small. So we can multiply both sides by s minus 6 or simply we can eliminate s minus 6 like this. So this will give us 4 equals s minus 10. Now if we add 10 on both sides, we get that the value of s must be equal to 14. And we are not yet done because this is just the side length of the square. So the area of the square must be equal to s squared. So let's square on both sides. Now, 14 squared is just 196. And this s squared is technically equivalent to our x. So x equals 196. Therefore, in this question, we can say that the area of the square must be equal to 196 square centimeters. And as always, we are done.